Hey everybody. It's been one of those days. I tell you what, I go to film my painting today and the camera, the video camera is not working. Something's wrong with the memory card or whatever and I can't figure it out and my IT husband is at work so I'm having to use my phone again and um, it just seems like some days things are working against you and I just wanted to say do it anyway. I just listened to the song by Martina McBride, she's a country singer, called Anyway. You need to pull it up on your YouTube and listen to it. It's like when you're not feeling like you want to need to do what you need to do, do it anyway. Sing anyway. Love anyway. Paint anyway. And uh, I'm in this mentoring group on Facebook. And it's by Matt Tommy. It's called Created to Thrive. And this is his book, which is in my Amazon link below the video. It's an awesome book. I've read it. I've been in his mentoring group on Facebook for about a year. And it's really been life-changing for me. And he does a weekly video on Facebook that's very helpful. And the one they brought up this past week, he does, you know, just like a little quick, um, he does a little quick video on parts of it and then another part he'll do it like an hour or so answering questions for people that are trying to thrive as a Christian artist. And he mentioned Isaiah 54, which is a really awesome chapter. And it talks about, it starts out about women that can't bear children and um, he's telling, he tells them to go and sing and shout with joy anyway. Because if you do what he asks you to do, you will eventually get those blessings that he, he promises you. And so there's a lot of days when things kind of work against us, whether it's personal things in our life with our family members or relationships or your job or health. There's so many obstacles in this life, but the key is to sing anyway, dance anyway, paint anyway, love anyway. So read Isaiah 54. If you're interested in this, this is an awesome book, Created to Thrive by Matt Tommy, T-O-M-M-E-Y. And read Isaiah 54, because it really talks about doing things in spite of how you're feeling and it will bless you. So I've got my camera up on the pedestal here and it's kind of crooked. I'm going to try to straighten it out. It's taped because I don't know how to even hold the camera up there. I can't find the right attachments. So I have my camera taped up on this stand because I'm going to video anyway. And I'm going to paint anyway because it brings me joy. And I hope it brings you some joy. It makes me happy. And that's what I'm meant to be doing. It's my gift. And so I'm going to share anyway. So what I'm doing today, I've got a little bit of a different recipe that I'm going to try out here. And it's all mixed up in this big 24 ounce Pepsi to-go cup. Three parts Floetrol. One part GAC 800 and one part Liquitex pouring medium. So I've mixed this cup up full with three parts, one part, and one part. So it's Floetrol latex based. There's the Liquitex pouring medium. This was my bottle of GAC 800 that I had. It was only two ounces and I needed, I don't know, about four ounces or so in this size cup. So I made up the difference with Elmer's glue all. I figure, hey, what the heck? It's an experiment. It's just a new recipe to see what it how it works. How it, you know, kind of if it works any differently than my typical recipes. I really don't think it will. I've got my colors mixed up. I'm gonna go through these very, very quickly. 
and uh, you know there's not always colors that I have in tubes or bottles that really work for me so half the time I mix my colors up if they aren't what I want it to be also I bought a new roll of my butcher paper $14 at Hobby Lobby. I was in Hobby Lobby and I knew that I needed another roll instead of ordering it from Amazon, which I typically do. I went and got it from Hobby Lobby and used my 40% off coupon because it's $14, so that made it, you know, $8 or so. It's 30 inches deep and it's a 50 foot roll, 50 feet. So it's quite, it lasts for quite a while, but this is what I always have on my table and it's fabulous for not letting your paint seep through or you know stay on your paper much you can peel it off if it's thicker you can peel it off and use it for acrylic skins it's perfect so that's what i always use as butcher paper so very quickly i'm going to go through the colors i'm doing the chakra colors again but in one pour and i'm not quite sure how i'm gonna do it but i want it kind of gradient and so I'm going to very quickly go through the colors, and I'll just start on the red end. This is a deeper red, and I mixed Liquitex Basics. I'll mention all of these are Liquitex Basics except for a few. Cadmium Red, Deep Hue, and Quinacridone Magenta. That's the deeper red. The lighter red is Cadmium Deep Red Hue. Artist Loft Vermilion, which is an orangey red. I have my deeper orange. That is Vermilion that I just mentioned. And Liquitex Basics Cadmium Orange Hue. So that's in the deeper orange. The lighter orange is Cadmium Orange Hue with Cadmium Yellow Medium Hue. That makes the brighter orange there. This is a combination of Liquitex Basics, Cadmium Yellow Medium Hue, and Yellow Oxide. So it's a deeper golden yellow. This one is the Cadmium Yellow Medium Hue mixed with some Master's Touch White to make it a brighter, lighter yellow. <clears throat> this is Master's Touch Chrome Oxide Green with some phthalo cyanine green and a little bit of Master's Touch light green in it. So that's my deeper green. This one is the chrome oxide green, a little bit of that. A lot of light green and then a lot of green yellow and I put a little cadmium yellow in it to make it this brighter, lighter green. The purple is Violet by Artist Loft. The lighter one is the Violet plus Deep Violet, Liquitex Basics. And the Violet was Artist Loft, I don't know if I said that. And I had kind of a periwinkle blue that I had mixed up to do a Carolina Chapel Hill, uh, UNC Chapel Hill Ram. So it's kind of a periwinkle purple. I put a little of that into there as well to lighten it just a bit. For my blues, it calls for, uh, the chakra has like an indigo blue, and so this is a really dark navy blue that I had mixed. I put a little bit of that in, and some cobalt blue hue, and cerulean blue to make my deeper indigo blue. Then for the lighter one, I did the cobalt blue hue, and the cerulean blue together. And I might have put a little periwinkle in that to lighten it just a bit. So, and then for my turquoise color, I did Artist Loft Turquoise. I added a little bit of the Thalo Cyanine Blue and the Thalo Cyanine Green to get the deeper color. And on this lighter one, I use the turquoise and Liquitex Basics Bright Aqua Green. 
and maybe a little bit of white in that one. So those are my colors. I'm, I'm going to mix these ratios of one to one. I've got about an ounce and a half to two ounces in a five ounce cup of paint. They're all super thick because they came out of tubes, so I'm going to put the pouring medium in them first, and then if I need to add water to get the right consistency, then I will add water. I will be back in a minute after I've added all my pouring medium to my colors. Thanks because that pretty much, I didn't get any cells, and some people get cells, and I don't get cells when I don't add the silicone. Now, I did get the cells with the uh, Deco Art pouring medium. Um, they weren't like huge, but I did get some cells, and <clears throat> I'm looking for some cells. I'm going to add the coconut milk. Still have the 18 by 24 here, so I think I'm going to go ahead and do this one very quickly. What I'm going to do Actually, I'm going to add water because these are so thick. Where's my water? Make them more fluid. And they've got, they've got the uh, coconut milk in them. I don't want to not have enough paint, but you know, I think I have plenty of paint.
so this one's going to be messy, which is okay. Like that big grain area. I'm not crazy about that grain, so I'm trying to just add some. I'm done with this one. I'm not crazy about the large areas of green. So, you don't want to put red on it because then you'll end up getting a brown color. So, if I can just squiggle some blue through it. 